All right, folks, this video, we're going to do some benchmarks with the Thermalrite Phantom Spirit 120. It's a dual tower, dual 120 millimeter fans. CPU i9-12900KS. We've got, uh, not that it really matters, but the RTX 4070 here. 32 gigs of RAM on the Aris Ultra Z690 motherboard. Now, I'm going to do, for benchmarks, we'll do XTU. Uh, then we will switch over to Cinebench R20 and R23. And hopefully this thing will stay focused. Let's see. You can see the score. So after I hit go on this, um, we will drop down so you can see all these uh, graphs and stuff. But uh, right now, folks, temp is 29 degrees Celsius. That's actually the coolest it it has been. Uh, yesterday I was doing a bunch of updates. And I actually had to redo this video because of uh, some issues I was having with the settings for the display. Uh, this is a 4K 120 hertz TV and we had the wrong uh, HDMI cable. So I had to drop it from 120 to 60 so that it could handle it. All right, so let's get started. Hit and run, drop it down. And this will go pretty quick. Uh, you can see the temp, 88, 89. Probably get to 92 or 93 maybe. No. 90. So there was uh, current, current limit throttling. I just saw. Uh, we do have power limit set to unlimited. So that's interesting. Now there's your score. Uh, which is, you know, all right. It's, uh, I think, a little better than an i5-13600K. Um, somewhere between that and the i7-13700KF. But uh, let's go ahead and do our Cinebench R20. Now I'm going to completely kill this. It is summertime where I'm at, even though I am in the basement and so it's still relatively cool down here and now yesterday we did we actually did some Fortnite, but um, I put out a video so you guys can check the temps there I did all of the settings from low to epic and we'll probably do some more games. All right, let's also open up Hardware Info 64. Close that. And then we will uh, reset this. Almost feels like the, uh, the camera lens might be a little dirty, folks. Ah, let's hope not. Um, so I'm going to concentrate on the CPU package here. All right. So you'll get to see the score. The last time I ran it was 10,011. 10,111, this should say. And the CPU temp is currently looking good. Reset. Hit and run. We'll bring this back up. Now you should see power. Yeah, power usage is going to get up there. 278 so far. Attempts at 90. CPU coolers actually blowing relatively cool uh, air on me. 92. And it doesn't look like we're going to thermal throttle. We probably, we may have current limit throttled again. And it's done. Um, interesting enough, much higher score, 10,640. Maybe it's, you know, nice and warmed up. I don't know. So we'll let this cool off. 
And then we'll get uh, Cinebench R23 up. So it's still a little warm. I doubt we'll get back down to 29 degrees Celsius, but um, if it'll stay, looks like it's going to bounce around. So last time I ran this, it didn't even, uh, it did not keep the score. It was, uh, I think, 26,000. All right, folks, so let's go ahead and run this. We're just doing multi-core. And we may do, uh, since we did Fortnite in a video, um, maybe I'll do, I'll do World War Z benchmark. So you can see the temps getting up there at 93. Doesn't look like it's going to get any higher though. 94. Okay, the score has popped in. So we have a new, I don't know if it's a new high score, but uh, at least for this. Uh, power usage got up to 285. Or 287, sorry. So not, uh, that was quite a bit of juice being used up there's your new uh, score I think that is the highest that I've gotten out of this i9 12900 KS uh, if we still had the i7 13700 KF it would be uh, closer to 30 but yeah 27930 all right so we're going to we'll kill that and kill this then we'll bring up, uh, we're going to bring up World War Z. Alright folks, so here we are in the game. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and record this for use later. So, this is 4K, high settings, maybe not ideal to test this uh, CPU. Our temps uh, got up to, just a second ago, 97 degrees Celsius, so... Uh, that's a little concerning. 99. Wow. So, most likely it is thermal throttling. Um, I thought for sure this CPU actually could handle, this CPU cooler could actually handle this CPU. It's the 13th gens that get really ridiculously hot. But, um, this is running hotter than it did in Fortnite. Now it just dropped down to, to 52 degrees Celsius. Um, interesting. 45, 51. So this is probably, you know, just a really um, maybe graphics card intensive. So check out the Fortnite video where I picked started with the more CPU intensive settings and then went to the more GPU intensive. But so I mean for this setting this graphic this CPU cooler is fine right? Um, and you know running benchmarks not everybody needs to do that and obviously the temps are going to get hotter but uh, yeah this setting, you know, it was good. Otherwise, um, when we're not in the game, it might not be so great. All right, so let me uh, kill that. And then I'm going to escape out of here. Um, yeah, so that's going to do it for the video, folks. Thanks for checking out. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.